Paul Robotham and his mom Barbara started a food business in St. John's about six months ago called Adley's Eats, providing homemade meals that are nutritious and balanced. They're fine-tuning as they go. Our concept going into this was decent, healthy meals for busy families on the run. We started this because my mother, who's a dietitian at Memorial University, thought if she had a, if there was a business like this while I was growing up, me and my three brothers and sisters, she would have used it four to five times a week. So that was the start. It's not a regular dine-in restaurant. It opens at 3 p.m. and closes at 7.30 p.m. Adley's has a menu, available at adleys.ca, for each day it's open, consisting of a daily choice of three different entrees, two side dishes, one hot side, a soup, and dessert. Most customers pre-order meals by phone to take away, specifying a pickup time. It's quick and easy. Uh, we would prefer people phone in where we do make all of our food the day of. It gives me a better understanding of how much we should cook. We try to stagger our cooking throughout the night so everything's always fresh. Photos of Adley showed a bright looking diner with tables, so Spouse and I, after ordering our meals early in the day, decided we'd ask to eat in. Understanding the concept, we didn't expect four-star table service. Still, Paul Robothan did a fine job of waiting on us. It was Friday and the soup was carrot. It came with a tea bun that had been made at 3 p.m. It was warm, fragrant, and tender. Tea buns don't come any better. The colorful carrot soup with a sprinkle of fresh herbs had a nice consistency, meaning not too thin or too thick. It was good. Adley's didn't add much salt, which made perfect sense given the commitment to balanced, nutritious meals. Each table has salt and pepper shakers to accommodate diners who want to add more. A special black bean salad had been added to the regular Friday menu. Along with black beans, Adley's salad featured pineapple, corn, mango, sweet pepper, and a dash of herbs, all well marinated in a mild vinaigrette. I like the colorful contrasting appearance, which no doubt contributed to its taste. Take one garden salad, add black olives, crumbled feta, and a robust oil and vinegar dressing with hints of garlic and oregano, and you've got what most folk here call Greek salad. Adley's preparation distinguished itself by being exquisitely fresh. It was the perfect side for my macaroni and cheese entree. It had a bright, cheesy, grilled crust with croutons. You know, old-fashioned mac and cheese, baked until firm enough to cut from a baking pan with a sharp knife and serve as a single delicious square. Adley's mac and cheese was one of those comforting rib stickers that tastes even better on damp winter evenings. Spouse had oven barbecue chicken with oven roasted potatoes. Adley's uses chicken thighs, which for me are the best part because the dark meat is invariably juicy and flavorful. Both thighs were golden and tinged with red, tangy barbecue sauce. Properly roasted, tender, skin-on potatoes made a good pairing. Friday dessert was creamy rice pudding with fresh fruit. I like the combining of rice and fresh fruit. I also appreciated the addition of raisins. A rice pudding needs raisins to taste homemade, and if not raisins, then some type of dried fruit. Adley's Eats is offering a concept that will be welcomed by many in our community. It's a family business and everybody seems to be pitching in to make it a success. Adley's Eats receives a rating of three stars out of four. A dinner for two with tax and tip costs approximately $38. For reservations, call 709-747-5888.